Welcome to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. My name is the British Eagle, and today, as you can see here, we're playing another... This is another episode of us playing Radiata Stories. We are in the City of Flowers, uh, which is really cool. This looks beautiful. Um, we saved it, and in the last episode, we fought our own people, and we went after the Fort Halatia, um, or Helena, Halatia, and we are now coming back here to meet with Lord Zane and see if uh, we can get Ridley back. We hope she's okay, but hey. yeah. Lord Zane's house is at the top of the path. You better hurry up. Now, I'm wondering that because we've earned the respect of the Light Elves, if we'll be able to buy from the local shops here, and if we'll be able to also buy equipment and stuff like that and, and recruit hey. people at the end of the path, you better hurry up. Yeah, so I'm curious how this will impact what we can do and what we can't do. So we'll see. It's going to be very interesting, but we're going to try and... Hey. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> But it looks like we can go in these these houses and stuff, so that's kind of cool. Well, well. You surprised me, Jack. I suppose that we can trust you from now on. Of course, I shall keep my word. I will spare the human girl. Jack! Are you alright? Hey, Ridley. What's wrong? Are you hurt? No, it's not that. Lord Zane! Terrible news, sir! What is it, Coco? What happened? The humans! They sent a force to Wind Valley! They killed Lord Saifid! What? L Lord Saifid? Are you sure of that? Yes. This is because I sent Gil and the others to the fort. Damn those humans. Very well, if that is what they want. We shall take that fort and crush them once and for all. I want all the elf forces sent to Fort Helensia now. Y yes, my lord. The humans have killed Lord Saifid, the Wind Dragon. There will be consequences. Prepare yourselves for what is to come. The wind dragon? Wow. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. So you decided to come back empty handed? What were you thinking? I. I'm very sorry, my lord. Why did you let them get away? If the light elf warrior guild was there, there is little that they could have done. The humans have lost Fort Valencia. But on the other hand, we have managed to slay the Wind Dragon. Who cares about dragons? You imbecile dumbbell! You useless ninny! I am very, very, very sorry, Lord Jasnet. Please forgive my carelessness. Very well. I will give you one more chance. I want you to find that perverted little twerp and bring him to me. Is that clear? Y yes, my lord. Oh, man. It's interesting. I I'm really liking how the story is progressing. This is getting very, uh, very crazy. It was just a dream. Huh? Where am I? What? That oh, looks like right. my old room. Fort Helencia. That Zane guy brought me here. Oh, never mind. Well, I guess they really are going to war with the humans. Jack, are you up? The strategy meeting is about to start. Huh? Oh, hey, Ridley. What's the matter, Jack? You've been kind of down since yesterday. Yeah, it's just that Leonard said that I'd turned against my own kind. With Zane starting this war, I've ended up fighting against my own friends. The world is starting to change. There's nothing any of us can do to stop it. Yeah, but still. Listen, we all have our own mission in life. Everyone has a belief in how things should be. Humans have human dreams. Elves have elven dreams. I have mine. And 
Jack, you have yours, right? I guess so. Protecting you. That's my mission. I guess. <laughs> if that's true, then I'm very grateful. Ridley. Jack. Listen to me. I can't turn away from this war. Yeah. Okay, then. I'll have to come along and protect you. That's going to be my job. Jeff. Right. You said something about a meeting? I think I'll have to check that out. Hmm. going to get this meeting started I'm all ready to go here come on be patient we're waiting for the guest of honor guest of honor what's he gonna do give a speech <gasps> it's Gans guest of honor will be leading the discussion. it's Gans I bet cuz he's figured out how to so beat them on the war yesterday humans change like the weather greetings to you all <gasps> oh I'm sorry to It's large man. <laughs> huh? It's the geezer with the funny money. Hello. Is that the young laddie I met in town? Ah, you were a great help to me that day. Uh, crushing bones, crushing bones. Lord Parsec and the boy know each other? Lord okay. Parsec, okay. Huh. Lord Parsec, we should be starting the meeting now. I, I reckon we should. <laughs> What's this? A human girl? Ah, uh, yes. This is the girl who received the transpiration from my brother. Oh, I heard about that, I did. So then, you must be Hap. The name's Ridley. Ho, 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 ho. What a delightful young lady. Parsec the Fire Dragon. At your service. What? The old guy's the fire dragon? Oh, snap. Now, let's begin this strategy meeting. What we decide here will affect the fate of all fairy creatures. Indeed, the fate of the entire world. But first, I must offer my sincere condolences to you, Lord Parsec. The death of Lord Seyfed is a great loss. Ah, you don't have to worry about him one bit. He's only sleeping, that's all. What do you mean? What's this? Don't tell me that the immortal elves have forgotten how our world works. How it works? No, I reckon I'll just have to explain it. Our world is governed by the great cosmic elements. You know that much, don't you? Wind, water, earth, and fire. We four dragons are responsible for watching over these four elements. The cosmic order. Yes, that's right. The wind dragon guards the elves. The water dragon guards the orcs. The earth dragon guards the dwarves. And as the fire dragon, I am responsible for guarding the goblins. Wait, but what about us humans? Humans have the most important role of all. They serve as the vessel for the twin dragons. We're a vessel? That's right. The twin dragons, the gold dragon and the silver dragon, keep watch over this world. Just as night follows day, and day follows night, so the two dragons each take their turn as guardian. Silver dragon or gold dragon, one or the other always looks over the world and protects its order. But neither dragon has its own form. They have to enter a vessel before they can awaken. So without humans to serve as their vessel, the twin dragons would never awake. Exactly, me little lady. Oh, 
You're as sharp-minded as you are charming. Okay, so which one's in charge now? The gold one or the silver one? Now it is the era of the silver dragon. But the time of the gold dragon is close. When it comes, it will mean the end of this world. The end? But wait, does that mean it'll be the end for humans too? Yes. As long as the four elements stay unbalanced, then it's bound to happen. On the other hand, when the end comes, the four dragons will reawaken from their sleep and live again. Hey, that sucks! What kind of system is that? Oh, you can't argue with it. It's your destiny. Of course. Humans are destined to die. Algandars is spreading through the land. The cosmic elements have been thrown out of balance. It's inevitable. No. That has nothing to do with it. What do you mean? The dwarves of Earth Valley are being trampled underfoot. My brother Nogaira has been killed. But no one knows when Quasar the Gold Dragon will awaken. In any case, while there's no vessel, nothing will change. But there is. In the meantime, all you can do is play your role and follow your own convictions. You have to do your very best to fulfill your own mission. That's what makes you alive. Yes, I get it. I know what the old guy is trying to say. I doubt it. <laughs> sure I do. The way I figure, the silver dragon and gold dragon are like fate, right? We don't know when the gold dragon is going to wake up. Just like no one knows when they're going to die. So all we humans can do is go out there and do our best every day. <laughs> I think the little laddie gets it. See, I'm right. If that is the case, it is our never-ending duty to quash the arrogance of the humans, is it not? I reckon that's right, too. However, there is one thing that has been bothering me a little. And what is that? I think that Ophelion, the Silver Dragon, may be up to something. Ophelion's that guy you were looking for a while back, right? Aye. He's taken a certain human as a vessel. Ah. And he's controlling the humans from within Radiata Castle. Wow. What? The Silver Dragon is in Radiata Castle? What? I finally found out where he was hiding just before I came here. But if he's in Radiata Castle, then who is he? Do I know him? No, don't you worry about that. You let me deal with Aphelion. I'd like to find out what he's up to. I think it's time I dropped by and paid him a visit. Who could it be? Are you going to Radiata Castle? But my lord, think of the danger. Oh no, I'll be fine if I stay in human form. In any case, I don't have much choice. It's my job to speak to him. Very well. In the meantime, we shall all be working to fulfill our own convictions. Right. You do that then. Hey, old guy. I've got a question. What would that be? My father... Well... He killed the water dragon. Is killing a dragon like a crime or something? Huh? What did he say? So then, you must be Cairn's son. It's not a crime, lad. Your father was doing nothing more than following his own mission. Okay. <laughs> if you put it that way... <laughs> Jack, I think you should pay a little visit to Goblin Haven. Huh? Goblin Haven? What's that? Goblin Haven. 
It's the Black Goblin Village, of course. You should take Miss Ridley with you, I reckon. Take me? But the war's just starting. What are we supposed to do all the way out there? Well, if you go, you'll find out, won't you, lad? I think that going there is part of your destiny, Jack. Hmm. Well, how about it, Ridley? Yeah, I guess so. Let's go. Ha 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 ha! No doubt about it. She's a real charmer. You know, old guy, you could try acting more dragon-like. Jack, watch your tongue. Yeah. <laughs> Very well. Coco, I want you to guide these two to Goblin Haven. Uh, yes, sir. Right away, my lord. Okay. Wow, very interesting. So we learned that the big guy with the fire stick in his mouth is the fire dragon. Ridley joins our party. Um, we only have Ridley, I guess, for right now until we get to recruit the other people eventually. I, I don't know. We'll see. Um, right now we're at Fort Halentia, right? So I'm going to kick all these things, see if we can get some items or, or something out of this. Uh, let's kick this. Let's kick this. Um, yeah, this is interesting. So I'm curious how this is going to work out. Um, hmm. So we learned a lot about the dragons. The fire dragon is the big, tall, red-headed dude who was talking to the big main knight um, a while back in the series. And so, yeah, very interesting. Very interesting. Yeah. You don't have any spare shields you want to sell, do you? Even if you think they're not good, I sure could use them. Uh, what's over here? Anything? Nothing. Okay, let's head on out. All right, so I guess we got to go to Goblin Haven. Uh, see what's over there. But first, let's continue to kick things. We have not been in Fort Halencia before, so we're going to be able to uh, kick things and try and get some items. What do we get? Obtained Glory Axe. Let's see if that's any better than what we currently have. Glory Axe, where are you? 170. It's got a fire element, CP7, and you get the blaze ability. I will absolutely equip that. That's awesome. Very nice. I'm happy with that. What about this over here? Nothing. Okay, let's talk to you too. Hi. I train even when I should uh, should be getting sleep. What did you say? Hi. I hope this ends soon. Maybe you can end it by attacking the human town. I'm grateful you sided with us non-humans. But are you sure you made the right choice? Can you wield your sword against f friends and colleagues? I couldn't do that. Okay, they don't really say too, too much here. Let me go this way and see what's out here. Uh, let me go back in. I want to go see what's through this other door here. Maybe it leads us to a room of items. I don't know. Oh, it's a save point. Very cool. So we have a place to come back to now if we need to save and, and go to a room. What do we get? Empty bottle, very cool. Okay. All right, so real quick, let me see here. Uh, Jack. Uh, I don't think I need to do anything there. Let's sort the items. I'm looking for berries. Where are the berries? Berry, where's Barry? There's a couple of berries. Nice. We got... Or two of them. We got Strength Berry. We got Luck Berry. And I think that's it for now. Um, let's go ahead and save. Uh, actually, yeah. We'll save here. Um, just so we have a spot to come back to. Or at least a save file to come back to if we need to. So, yep. We'll save there. Very nice. And, yeah. Cool, cool. Let's continue onwards. I don't think we need to sleep. I'm not really, in, I'm not entirely sure about that, but let's see what these guys have over here. I hate the sight of blood. That's why I run a weapon shop. I let the fighters do the fighting, and I mind my own business here in my shop. Wait, what? No matter what happens to the world, business is business. I don't give weapons away for free. There's no one here that the dwarves can use, or 
Maybe there was, never was, or maybe it's all been mined out. Doesn't matter. Okay. So you guys do absolutely nothing. Awesome. Ah, friends list. Okay. So we can add Gob, Aesop, Monkey, or Goo. Who the heck is Goo? I don't remember adding you. Um, I guess I'll add Gob and... Uh, level 4? I don't know if I want to use you. I'm going to go with Gob and... Aesop? Might as well. It's going to be good to add more people to our friends list. So Hi. I made a list of friends you can consider for your party. It's on that table. If you want to go someplace, it's always safer to have others join you. That is true. That's a fair point. Can we kick anything back here? Nothing. Okay, great. Uh, what is this? There's three doorways. One of them leads to what? The ante room? Hmm, okay. This place is a mess. It looks like someone had a battle in here for uh, supremacy of the room or the fort. Wonder who it could be. Okay, I guess we'll leave. Uh, what's in the other room? It looks like there was a sword on the front of the uh, door, so maybe that's where the weapons are? Oh, and it's hit midnight. Yeah, cool. Oh, are you doing some blitzball, dude? Totes, man. Since I'm going to guard the place, I might as well keep training. We can't afford to waste time. Hi. I wonder when the humans will attack. Well, will it be today? I'm going to go back really quick. I just want to make sure I didn't miss anything. Um, what's through here? Is this training? Looks like it might be. Um, oh. But I've been planning on opening up shop here for ages. You liar. I was planning this before you. No, you weren't. Yes, I was. Hey, you. Who do you think first came up with the idea? What? Um, I don't know. really know what you're talking about. I just heard a little of your conversation, so don't ask me. He has a point. Well, say you're a customer. Who do you think is fit to be a shop owner? Well? Well? Um, I think you need to get more than one opinion for this. Then you get more opinions and report back to us. What? Why me? Why not? You're the one who brought it up. Look, I don't think... You're not going to say no, are you? Whoa, talk about pressure. Ugh, fine, fine. So I guess I need to go around and talk to everybody and get the opinion of... I told them I'd do it, but who should I start with? I know, I'll ask Lord Zane. Elves know themselves the best. This might be a bad idea to do this, but now nah, we'll go talk to Lord Zane. See what he says. Maybe we'll get some good items once they open up the shop and we can buy something from them. Or this is just a side, little mini side quest, I guess. What exactly would you like me to do? Couldn't you, like, talk to them and calm them down? I thought you were the one who promised to solve their problem. If you promised, you must keep your word. Or are you saying that humans can't keep promises, hmm? Uh, what have I gotten myself into? Alright, fine, I'll do it. Wait. For this kind of problem, I think it's best you ask a shop owner for advice. Not an elf, but a dwarf shop owner. Why not ask Vladimir? That's a very good point. Let's go and talk to him. Is it him? Hey. No, that's not him. Okay, no. It's not the drunk guy sitting outside of the main battle room. Um, I think it's this way. I think Vladimir is the guy up out here. Should be right here. Yep, there we go. So, you want to know if Kins or Marge's shop is better? I don't really care whose is better. That's not the answer I need. Can you please pick one? Hmm, I would have to say Kin. She has an original supply route. If she opens shop, the variety of merchandise will be spectacular. Okay. 
That is just my personal opinion. You should ask a dark elf about the Marsha. Hmm, why not ask Clarence? Alright, let's go ask Clarence. Is this- are you Clarence? Hi. No, you're Franz. Awesome, great. Clarence, are you through here? I think you are. Are you the one that's juggling the ball? Hi. Nope, you're Serva. Okay, great. Nope, you're not Clarence. Clarence is probably the one inside, I guess? Um, and when I say inside, I mean back through here. And right here. There we go. Between Keen and Marsha, definitely not Keen. Her original supply route is amazing, but her prices are too high. She's a little too attached to money. In that sense, Marsha thinks of her customers first. Her prices are reasonable and fair. Okay. What's wrong? So which is better? Hmm, I can't really say. I know, you should ask Lord Zane. I've already done this. He's in charge of the fort, so he would be the guy to talk to. They would have to get his permission anyway. Back to Lord Zane. I'm going in circles. Yeah, that's how most of this game is. You do one thing, they tell you to go back here. You do this, you go there, you come back around. It's like, oh my goodness. Okay, so let's go back and talk to Lord Zane again. See if maybe he can provide us with a bit more of a better answer. Have you come to a decision? No, I have two separate opinions and don't know what to do. Hmm. Keen has a wide selection. Marsha has reasonable prices. Why do we have to choose only one? What? They should both open shop. There will be two stores. And the customers can go to whichever they like. Wow, that would solve everything. There's plenty of space for both shops. It would be better for their business, uh, businesses if they had some competition. This is something I've learned from humans. All right, cool. So let's go back and talk to um, the people we originally talked to. And yeah, then they'll open the shop and maybe we'll get a discount on prices. Maybe we'll be able to buy some items. Big part of the reason why I'm doing this, like mini mission is because I'm hoping that they'll open up a shop and that I'll be able to get some items because I need them. Both of us? Each open shop? Yeah, there's no rule saying you can't. Right. You two can open your own stores and each do business in your own way. Well, that makes sense. Uh, okay. What do you think? Marsha, let's fight it out. What? Sure, but I don't plan on losing to you. Me neither. Ugh, another problem solved. Boy, I'm beat. So are we going to get anything out of this for doing this mission? Or are we going to be able to... Can I go... Can I actually get some items or something? What did that help me with? Nothing. They just left. Awesome. So I did that for... Practically nothing. Great. Unless maybe later on that benefits me because they open up the shop and it gets me items. Wow, I was legitimately hoping I could get some items. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm a little disappointed. Okay. That did nothing for me for right now. But again, maybe it'll help long term. I guess maybe that's the benefit of that, I guess. I don't know. Oh, wait. Oh. You're in the middle of the thing. Hiya! What? 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 Hiya! Yeah! Ah! Um, what are you trying to do? Just testing my strength. Ow! Ah! Testing your strength, huh? I think you'd have a hard time killing a fly. <laughs> what? Uh, are you making fun of me? Everyone at this fort tells me I look really strong. Um, I think they're being polite, so you won't feel bad. Huh. W well, I'll show you what my training has taught me. But why do you want to fight? Do you know Gil? He's a light elf. Yeah? The light elf hero. I want to be just like him. So what do you say? Do you think I can take him on? No. 
What? No way! I'd give you two seconds, if that. I'm not saying you're weak. You just need more training. I've had lots of training. I'll show you when I fight him. Don't you want to watch our legendary battle? Sure, why not, kid? Well, maybe a little. Though, not for the reasons you think. What did you say? Um, nothing, nothing. Well, come on then, let's go. Huh, now? All right, let's watch this battle. So that's the story, will you please fight him? If you don't, he'll keep pestering me and pestering me. I know it'll be a quick battle, just a couple of seconds. Sure, why not? Thanks! Hey, he said he'll do it! M may the best man win! Don't be so tense, relax a little. Okay, this is a battle to determine who is the stronger. Ready? Go! Yeah! Uh, uh. Was this what you wanted? Y y yeah! My training was useless. Ugh. Don't be upset. The important thing is to keep trying. If you lose today, train so you can win tomorrow. No one is strong from the beginning. Daily practice is the key. Ugh, does that mean we can fight again sometime? Of course. All right. The enthusiasm of the young. Come on, let's go. Let's run towards the sunset. Okay. The sunset? Eh, at least I'll get some peace now. I really thought he was going to be joining our friends list, but I guess not. All right. Well, that was an interesting side quest that we just did. Um, so there's no one manning the front of the, the thing, but okay. Um, yeah. All right. Well, I think... Um, let me just see if there's anyone I can talk to back here. I might see if I can try and recruit. Oh, I guess everyone's gone to bed. Okay, well, um, is anyone in my room then that I can talk to? Okay, I, I figured there wasn't, but, um, all right, guys. Well, I'm going to call an episode right there. Thank you guys so much for the support on this series. Like I said, I am going to try and keep these episodes a little bit shorter. The last one accidentally went to 50 minutes, so this is hitting around the 32, 33 minute mark. In the next episode, we're going to leave and we're going to go with Ridley and head on our way to the, what is it, the elf, ga uh, the the elf haven or whatever it was called the goblin haven or something like that so anyway i will catch you guys in the next episode hit the like button down below subscribe to the channel let me know in the comments what you guys think of the story and if you're happy that we went on this route with ridley instead of going to lark's castle um but as always spread those positive vibes i'll catch you in the next episode and until next time i'm out peace